Hi all my friends. Um, this is a video that has some pictures and uh, some clips, video clips, um, a little bit of my journey uh, after I left the Vermilion Cliffs, okay, and also a shout out to some people uh, that I met um, or businesses along the way, okay? So um, now remember I didn't do a lot of filming because of the incident that I had with Buster, okay? But when I left the Vermil Vermilion Cliffs, I made my way up 389 and 50 59 as I made my way to Utah, to Hurricane Utah. Uh, I went to Zion Veterinarian Clinic and I can't say enough about them. They were so amazing. Um, you know, going through that situation with Buster. Very sympathetic, very kind, they show compassion. So I highly recommend them if you're going through that area and you need any kind of veterinarian care, um, definitely that is the place you could stop by uh, um, as you're going through that area. After that I stayed in a uh, uh, gem trailhead, okay, and then I made my way to Laverkin. Uh, Utah and I had to have some breaks done and some stuff done to my rig so I ended up going to studio I'm sorry studio um, shop 11 <laughs> um, so Lance from shop 11 was just so amazing there uh, he's a he's a young guy that's just starting out his business and um, he just took wonderful care of me. So very kind guy. So I highly recommend his shop if you're going through that area or in the Hurricane or Laverkin area, definitely check him out. So shop 11, okay? Um, so then I made my way up to Cedar City and then the Walmart there was so kind with my situation with Milo and said, come on, bring him in when I was looking for the little um, dog for him. So um, yeah, everything worked out great there. And then I made my way up to an RV park. It was um, Wagon West RV Park in Fillmore, okay? And they were very kind there too, very nice. The only drawback is when the spaces are very close together. So when you open up your door, you, you're next to the person's, um, to the next to you's electrical and, and dump, you know, where their tube is going down. So that wasn't like the ideal thing, but other than that, it was great, okay? Um, the other one was, um, after I left there, sorry, I went on into um, Spanish Forks area and I went to that camping place that was outside of, uh, you know, Spanish Forks and that was a beautiful drive up there and, and came back and I stayed at the Walmart there and it was beautiful scenic views of the mountains around that Walmart and I ended up uh, running into Jamie and Tass um, you know his girlfriend Tass and Jamie Jamie has his channel uh, Igmatic Nomadics and so it was kind of cool to bump into them say hi to them and uh, stayed the night there and then took off okay and then I made my way all the way through Salt Lake City and I, I again I've been trying to travel fast um, but through that journey, um, and after I went to the campsite up at, outside of Spanish Forks, definitely in, uh, put that spark to filming again. And so that's when I started videoing. I, so again, I took some pictures along the way, but that's when I started my videoing again and of the capturing the beauty along the journey. And so you'll see some of those clips as I enter into Idaho, okay? Now stay tuned for the next video as I show, um, you know, where I went to in Idaho, okay? Um, but fabulous place and so, yeah, so lots of cool journeys as I'm making my way through Idaho, okay? All right, so enjoy the clips and the, the um, pictures along that Utah uh, journey. And then I love you all and I'll see you all in the next video.
this is what a lot of Utah looks like. All these mountains, oh my gosh, they're just beautiful the whole stretch of the way. <laughs> if it wasn't for it, you know, having big cities along the stretch of 15, it would be an ideal place to live. But other than that, just all of these types of really tall mountains, it's absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> stretch. I'm starting to uh, leave a lot of the mountains though. They're all behind me. I don't know what's ahead of me, but anyway, so that's beautiful. I'm almost to, I'm on 1584 and almost to the 84 going west, but not quite like 30 miles from that turn off. Gorgeous out here. Love the snow on top of the mountains. 